this is it. We've worked our butt off to get to this point of the video series. Wow. Should we take a break? Let's take a breather. Okay, okay, okay. Back to work. You've learned so many tools. That's right. Everything you could possibly learn. But here's some stuff you should put into your brain about treating your life like a business during your 365 days to success. Let's make a right left. Do you have what it takes to make a right left to you? What's up, good people? I'm Thomas J. Beleza, and welcome to my video. Uh, if this is your first time to my channel, and you want to learn how to be successful in entertainment, well, do so by hitting the subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't miss out. Would you invest in a company you work for? How much worth do you give yourself? Would you open a business without preparation? Well, if you wouldn't invest in a company you work for, why are you working there? because it costs you your valuable time and money to go there and work. You are worth more than just trading time for some cash at a company you don't even own or like. So this is my question to you. Do you want more? And if the answer is yes, take control, take charge, be proactive, make things happen by making things happen. These videos within this series may not be specific things you need to do, but they are ultimately the tools and the direction of what you should be doing. And you can be doing it. And you know what? If you decide that you know what you want to do with your life, then you have to take a chance. But more importantly, before you make that move to be an entertainer, to be an actor, comedian, writer, to own a business, to be a stay-at-home investor, you need to prepare. Preparation is key because ultimately this whole video series is just a collection of tools and ideas to get your brain started, to get you thinking, to just push you in the right direction. Because I want you to think about the value of what you're doing and why you're doing it and how to do it. Because at the end of the day, what you do is not your job because if acting was your job you'd get paid for acting every single time but you don't if comedy was your job you'd get paid every time you went on that stage those things are what you do and what you do is not your job your job is to network market practice your job is to manage your time money and people your job is to utilize your entrepreneurial brain to find solutions and think outside the box. Your job is to increase your talent of what it is you specifically do and find your weaknesses and elevate them to strengths. Your job is to organize your money into security, growth, and dream to protect yourself, invest in yourself, and reward yourself so you can grow your wealth. Your job is to understand assets so you can take that organized money in your three needs of purpose and start developing wealth so you eventually can be wealthy. Your job is to treat your life like a business. So the next time you're acting, the next time you're telling a joke on stage, the next time you're playing music, the next time you're drawing, the next time you're writing, the next time you're doing anything it is you love, remember to be rewarded for that love, that passion that you would trade the world for to do. You have to do your job. You have to utilize all those things I said to treat your life like a business and be proactive to make things happen by making things happen. This is how you will become successful within the first 365 days of your career choice. You can do it if you sacrifice, if you make excuses to do the thing you wanna do instead of making excuses to do the thing you don't wanna do. I don't want to get up in the morning and go to the job at the supermarket. I don't want to get up in the morning and go to the job at the AC place. I don't want to get up in the morning to go to a job I hate that A, has nothing to do with my field of interest, and B, I don't see myself here in 30 years. And if I do, oh my God, I see myself as a comedian. 
I see myself as a musician, an actor, a writer. I see myself working in the circus. Whatever it is, you tell yourself, I see myself doing this. This is my passion. Then when you do that thing, be that passion. When you're working on that thing, be that passion. But when you're not working on it and when you're not doing it, you have to treat your life like a business so you can get paid or rewarded to do the thing you love. You have to. Helpful. Tip, whatever your dream is, have a plan. And that plan has to start with a foundation of finances, understanding your overhead, understanding a budget, and understanding how to save up capital so you can take a risk, a calculated risk, utilizing at least 18 months worth of financial foundation. Because success defined by this series is to earn a living within your field of interest. And a living is within your budget caps, not affording your lifestyle. Lifestyle is getting the car you always wanted. Lifestyle is buying a yacht. Lifestyle is buying suits every month. Lifestyle is going out every single weekend and spending $800, uh, nine, even $1,200 a month on your weekends with your friends, drinking, partying. Lifestyle is not a living. Success is making a living within your field of interest. A living is within your budget, your overhead, and your caps. And once you have that established, and once you understand that organizing your money into security, growth, and dream can help you develop wealth, wealth is the amount of time you can go without having to recoup income. And wealth gives you freedom. Because eventually, once you have wealth, even starting your wealth and developing it, it allows you to do the thing you love because you want to, not because you have to, not because you need to pay your bills. And that's the, br the brilliant part of a foundation, a, finan a financial foundation of 18 months gives you the passion and the strength to focus on your career without worrying about paying your bills because you have 18 months protected. And within 365 days or a year, you, if you do your job, will start earning a living before the end of that year. And since any money coming in is going to be over your safety net, you place that money into your security growth and dreams. So by the end of your first year, you will have money in your security. You will have money in your growth needs so you can start investing it. And you will have money in your dream account. So if you need something or want something special, it's allocated for you. And it's not being taken out of your overhead money or your safety net or your budget or your foundation. So get out there and make things happen by making things happen. And I am going to be here helping you throughout your 365 days to success. Watch these videos whenever you want. They're free. They're here for you. I want you to understand what you need to do so you can do it. I believe in you, and you should believe in you. That's it. That's it. That's the end of the video. Now I got to do the whole hey thing. You know, blah, blah, blah. So here it goes. Q! Thank you for watching this video and supporting these traveling adventures of a resilient entertainer. Please like comment and share along with subscribe for future content. Have questions? Please let me know in the comments below and I will answer them. I'm here to help you. I want to help. It's what I live for. This is my passion, is seeing people succeed. So as always, don't work too hard, but be productive. Think outside the box, find solutions, Network market practice, manage your time, money, and people, utilize your entrepreneurial brain, increase your talents, enhance your talent, security, growth, and dream, assets, organize your money, and treat your life like a business. And remember, look at the people around you so you can work together, grow together, and rise together. Do you have what it takes to make a right left here? Do you? I think you do. Oh dear.